Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ball Rings High School for tonight's Constellation Game and Sewer Fire Holiday Classic. Today's game features the Rocket Boxers and Ball Rings Tigers. Now for our starters, first is Rocket Boxers. Boxers. We've got number one, Jill Smith. Number three, Elizabeth Williams. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Oliver Ames High School, home of the 2018 Holiday Tournament. The Oliver Ames Tigers, the Brockton Boxers, going at it in Game 3. This is the consolation game, both of these teams falling last night. Brockton has started off their season very strong behind Jade Wint, Kanari King, Alex, and Elizabeth Williams. And Oliver Rams, a disappointing loss here on their home court last night. They are led by Megan Holleran, the junior captain, along with Caroline Flynn, one of the returners from last year. She's only a sophomore getting the start for the Tigers tonight. Brockton wearing their visiting black jerseys, red trim around the white numbers, Oliver Rams in their home whites with black trim around the orange numbers. Jade Wint and Tati Hadges in for the opening tip. And the boxers have opening possession. Kenari King for the boxers. Only a sophomore, hands off to Elizabeth Williams. Williams looking in for Wint. Kenari King picks up the loose ball in the corner. King looking for somewhere to go with it. And a five second violation on the boxers. Oliver Rams takes possession. Inbounding is Megan Holleran, the junior captain. In for Caroline Flynn. Flynn now over to Hadges. And Williams tipped it to her sister, Alex Williams. 
to Jayla Smith, far corner. Jade went for three. No good. Elizabeth Williams, offensive board. Giving off to Alex. 45 seconds in, no score. Now in for Elizabeth, spinning, shooting off the glass, and in Brockton draws first blood. Two nothing boxers, just about a minute into the first quarter, and now all the rims on the other side, it is Caroline Pepper off the glass and in. Williams going far, complete to Jade Wint. Canary King with it. She takes a three, no good. Jayla Smith offensive rebound off of the legs of number 34, Megan Holleran. And out of play, Brockton retains possession. King to inbound. Jade Wint. Went to the top of the key for Williams. Williams getting it over to Alex Williams. She takes a deep three off the front of the rim. Canary King offensive board. Now it's Alex again. Almost traveled, caught herself. Jade Wynn off the glass, no good. Oliver Rams coming down with it. It's Hadges, but stripped by Jade Wynn. Brockton with a fresh 30 on the shot clock. A three, no good. Hadges again with the rebound over to Sadie Homer. Homer to Hadges, back to Homer, to the corner for Flynn. Her three, no good. And another rebound for Alex Williams. Jade Wint now fouled on her way in. The shot, no good, but she'll be at the line for a couple of shots. 5.54 to go in the first quarter. It is two to two. Went no good on her first attempt. These baskets quite a bit higher than the ones at Staff Gymnasium. Also a differently shaped gym with not a lot of room to run out of play before you hit something. Whether it be a wall or bleachers, Flynn's three off the front of the room, no good. Uh, the front of the rim, excuse me, no good. Canary King off of the Jayla Smith rebound. King all the way in, nice move, no good. Flynn comes away with it, and she's fouled from behind. That's going to go against Jayla Smith for the block. Now it's Pepper on the far side. Down low to Hadges off the glass, and in it is four to two. Olive Rams on top. Now Alex Williams with a lot of room to run. To Jade Wint down low, bad angle shot, hits both sides of the rim. Wint gets the rebound, quite a lot of room underneath the basket to work as well. Wint with two consecutive offensive rebounds off her own shots. Elizabeth Williams top of the key. Williams loses it to Homer who is knocked out of play by Smith and Alex Williams. Jade Wint gets the loose ball and her three pointer is good. Brockton back on top, five to four, 450 to go in the first quarter. Flynn is run into underneath, and she'll be at the line for a couple of shots. <clears throat> Caroline Flynn, again, only a sophomore, one of the tallest members of the Oliver Ames Tigers. Her first attempt, no good. Alex Williams with the tie, the score all knotted up at five apiece. Elizabeth Williams, three, no good. Jade Wint offensive board. It's a running theme with those. Canary King to Williams. Williams hard pass overhead to Alex Williams. Her underhanded shot off the glass, no good. Flynn comes down with the rebound quickly over to Sadie Homer. Homer trying to go coast to coast, no good. Elizabeth Williams the rebound. The boxers have proven this season that they are a very good rebounding team. Elizabeth to Alex. Now 
Alex back to Elizabeth, now to the corner for Canary King, a wide open three, no good. Jayla Smith offensive board. Fresh shot clock for the boxers. Halfway through the first quarter, Alex Williams to Jayla Smith. She throws up a three, it's well off the mark, and an offensive foul on Canary King. She went to defend Megan Holleran's inbound pass. Canary King comes out. It's Annalie Lorenzo, the sharpshooter, taking her place. Now it's Homer over to Flynn. Another Pepper now in for Holleran, back to Pepper. In for Hadges to the top for Homer. Eight on the shot clock off the glass, no good. And the rebound to number 11. That's Nelani Montero. What a move by Alex Williams. She's running two from behind, no foul. Montero with the loose ball grab and Jade Wint is fouled on her way back up. And will be at the line for another two shots. 3.06 to go in the first quarter. Still knotted up at five a piece. Went no good on her first attempt. <laughs> Haley Bourne, the freshman, getting some minutes here. She replaces Hadges. 0 for 2 for Jade Wint, not something we say often. Holleran, no look pass to the corner for Homer, her long two, no good. Rebound out of play off of the Tigers, Brockton takes over. Long pass in for Jade Wint. Went to the corner for Montero. Montero to Elizabeth Williams. Williams, bad angle shot, almost finding the bottom of the net. Jade went to Lorenzo, she takes a three. Annalie Lorenzo off the mark on her first attempt of the game. Now it's Homer the other way for the Tigers. She stops, throws it in. No good for Bourne. And Brockton with yet another rebound. Elizabeth Williams slowing up to the corner for Montero. She takes a three, that one's short. Lorenzo taps the rebound from behind, back to Montero, now back to Lorenzo. Lorenzo to Elizabeth Williams. Slowing things up, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Montero underneath, then it's a nice move for Nelani Montero. And the boxers take the lead once again, seven to five. Now Alex Williams tipping the inbound pass and coming up with a steal. And her floater is good. Brockton, four consecutive points. 1.45 to go in the first quarter. It is nine to five. Boxers on top, now a short jumper is good for the Tigers. Couple of substitutions forthcoming for Oliver Ames. Alex Williams long, three is good. 12 to seven, Brockton up by five. 1.20 to go in the first quarter. This is Caroline Pepper over to Holmes and her, uh, Homer, and her layup is good. Alex Williams all the way in, lost it, and now she's asking the ref for a push call. And they will not oblige her. And now a block called on Elizabeth Williams, 58. And a couple of ticks to go in the first quarter, 12 to nine. Haley Bourne at the line for a couple of shots. Better on her first attempt, it's a two point game. Senior captain Alex Sheldon into the game along with Ali Skolnick. Only one senior in the starting lineup for the Tigers tonight, and that would be the person with the ball, Sadie Homer.
Homer with it now, trying to get around Jade Wint. And a travel called on Ali Skolnick. Brockton takes over with 38.2 to go. They will probably use most of the 30 second shot clock here, not leaving OA with too much time to do something on the other end of this possession. Canari King back in, trying to find Nelani Montero and there will be 24 seconds on the shot clock, 31 in the quarter. Nelani Montero to inbound for the boxers. Trying to find King, tips it to herself. Canari King over to Wint. Or rather that's number 33. Rebecca Tannis, Alex Williams to the bucket, blocked by Sheldon. However, Canary King over to Alex Williams. Her deep three, no good. Montero grabbing the rebound, counted in one for Nelani Montero. 8.3 to go, it is 14 to 11, boxers on top. Montero trying to make it a two possession game going into the first quarter break. And does just that. 8.3 seconds for Oliver Ames to answer. Sadie Homer with it. Five seconds. And Brockton comes up with a steal. And Homer's gonna be called for a block on Canary King. Brockton to inbound with 2.1 seconds to go. Coach Chris Connolly wants to see something here. One second, and Kanari King's not going to be able to get off a shot. It wouldn't have been good anyway. At the end of the first quarter, it's 15 to 11. Brockton up by four after a relatively slow start for these two teams. It's been all Alex Williams for the boxers. Now we're going to take a look at the deep three for Alex Williams on the far side. She had to have been I mean, easily three or four feet behind the line when she threw that one up. And the boxers have quite a bit of range between the only freshman on the roster, Alex Williams, and Annalie Lorenzo, who may take a while to heat up sometimes, but when she is, she can fire off a couple of quick threes in a row. Jade Wint, the center, also with quite a bit of range as well. She's got a three-pointer so far on the night. Eight minutes on the clock here in the second quarter now. 15 to 11 the score, Brockton on top. Oliver aims to inbound. Running into trouble is Sadie Homer. Now it's Bourne called for the travel. Brockton takes over. One of Brockton's strong points is forcing turnovers, whether that come on offensive fouls or travel calls. Rebounding has been excellent for the boxers so far this year. Elizabeth Williams to Tannis. Tannis to Canary King. Over to Elizabeth Williams. And an offensive foul. And a block called on Canary King. That's her second personal foul. Tennis comes out in favor of Nelani Montero. And now it's Caroline Flynn. Flynn to Anna Murphy, her three no good. Always good to see someone on the floor wearing the double zeros. Now driving baseline was Pepper, no good. Flynn, top of the key. Over to Homer, her long two, no good. Jade Wint awaiting the air ball. Now Elizabeth Williams 
uh, Kenari King calling for it. Went over to Jayla Smith. Good ball movement for the boxers. That's going to be a travel on Elizabeth Williams. Oliver Williams first forced take away this game. Went coming down with the loose ball as Sadie Homer is getting some attention from the trainer directly behind me. Keep an eye on that. Overhead pass into triple coverage. And Olive Rams doesn't know where it is. Jade Wint comes up with it. And a push going to be called on Alex Sheldon. Score remains 15 to 11, 617 to go as Alex Williams, who found our microphone on the sideline before the game. Prepares to inbound for the boxers. Gives it to Jade Went Back to Williams. Thought about the three. Looking now for Jade Went. Went takes a three. No good. Jayla Smith fighting for the rebound. Jump ball called. It will remain a Brockton basketball. Williams to her sister Elizabeth. One of two sets of sisters on this team, along with the Okas, Olivet and Antoinette. And a travel called against Olive Rames. Goes back to the point about Brockton causing the turnovers. No one has scored yet in the first Two plus minutes of this second quarter. Kenari King looking to change that. Gives it off to Wint. Now it's Elizabeth Williams in for Jade Wint. Wint's three, no good. Gets her own rebound off the glass and in Jade Wint following her shot. And a timeout called by Oliver Ames. 17 to 11, that was just the first bucket of this second quarter, 5.23 to go in the second frame and the boxers up by six. Jade Wint showing some fundamental basketball, one of my favorite points to drill home every single year. Follow your shot. And that's exactly what Jade went there. She threw up the three either saw it wasn't going in, or just a fundamentally sound game for Jade Went following her shot in, getting her own rebound, and converting the layup. A lot of the players these days like to pretend they're Steph Curry. Throw up a long three, turn around or just admire it. Olive Reams to inbound off the timeout. It's Caroline Pepper over to Hollerin. Sheldon can't bring home the pass and it's Alex Williams off the turnover and now almost a travel. Good awareness to get rid of it for Megan Hollerin. Now it's Pepper on the far side. She finds Hollerin. Hollerin trying to create some space. Throws it back, but another steal by the boxers. That's Alex Williams. Now Canary King in alone. Lays it up. No good. Jayla Smith in the right place at the right time. Grabs the rebound. Loose ball, and it will be a jump ball as it was underneath Jayla Smith and Alex Sheldon. This will be an Oliver Ames, goal. Uh, Oliver Ames ball, excuse me, with 4.48 to go in the second quarter. Yeah. 
Collar into inbound. Once the stop is just cleared up, there's a ref at the scorer's table. Eerily quiet in the gym here at Oliver Ames High School. I believe it was a question on when the, sh the possession arrow should move. Here's Anna Murphy, and she gives it away into the arms of Jayla Smith. Now Jade went underneath for Alex Williams. Williams in trouble. She's called for the travel. Away ball, the long pass complete to Sadie Homer. Good to see her back in the game. Kanari King comes up with the steal. Loose ball. King on the floor surrounded by three Tigers. And a jump ball and the boxer in the jungle surrounded by the pack of Tigers. Comes up with possession for the boxers. Four and a half to go here in the second quarter. Only one bucket score, that was Jade Went. 17 to 11 year score, Elizabeth Williams. Rotating now to Alex. Alex to Elizabeth. Give it out to King, who's wide open instead to spin around layup. Alex comes down with the loose ball. Kenari King, top of the key, takes a long two, hits the rim, preventing the shot clock violation, and now a loose ball, and it will be a Brockton basketball. Good eyes by the ref to see that that did not deflect off of one of the boxers. Nelani Montero coming into the game. She will replace... Jayla Smith, Annalie Lorenzo replacing Kenari King. Halfway through the second quarter, only one bucket to speak for. That belongs to the senior co-captain of the boxers, Jade Wint. Wint with the ball now, falling over backwards and Olive Rams comes up with it, it's Sadie Homer. Homer to Holleran, her double to, able to break the double team. And out of play and another turnover forced by the Boxers. Lorenzo in the corner to Wint, her three is good. And she admired that one, she must have known it was going in. Jade Wynn accounting for all of the points scored thus far in the second quarter, 20 to 11. Sadie Homer, short jumper, no good. Offensive board for Holler and she's run into and a rebound for Elizabeth Williams. Lorenzo calling for it in the corner. Williams all the way in, clearly fouled, no whistle. Gets her own rebound out to Alex Williams. Trying to create some space and an opportunity, driving baseline and a block is called on Ali Skolnick. Here's the aptly termed NBA three replay for Jade Wint. We call it the Steph Curry. You can't even say anything. You just gotta admire it sometimes. Alex Williams trying the bold move, throwing it off of one of the Tigers who had their back turned. Lorenzo three, no good. Offensive board for Jade Wint. Went to Elizabeth Williams, to Lorenzo. Lorenzo hard across for it, Alex Williams. Now Williams one-handing it to Lorenzo. Her three is good. 23-11, Brockton up by 12, two and a half to go here in the second quarter. Lorenzo and Jade Went the only players to score. And another turnover by the Oliver Ames Tigers. Here's a look at the Annalie Lorenzo three. It's very dangerous if she can heat up. We've seen her drill four straight. And her spot on the floor is absolutely halfway between the baseline and the top of the key. Right where Alex Williams is now. Went down low for Montero to Lorenzo. From the other side of three, no good. Rebound for Sadie Homer. Homer, not a lot of room to go. Finally creating a hole. 
A three for all the Rams off the front of the room, no good. Jade Wint with the rebound, quickly getting it to Alex Williams. Wint down low off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound in the paint with four Tigers surrounding her and it's ripped loose by Jessica Ehrlich. Now it's Pepper, her two is good and finally Oliver Ames took six and a half minutes to do it but they finally scored here in the second quarter. Neilani Montero to Alex Williams to Elizabeth, her three, no good. And if she followed the shot, she would have been in perfect possession, uh, position for the rebound. One touch, Jade went long two, no good. Alex Williams juggling it, and a push is going to be called against Holleran. Tannis Canary King in Montero and Elizabeth Williams out. Went at the line her third trip. Three of uh, one of four so far, make it two of five. 24, 13, 11 point inch for the boxes under a minute to go here in the second quarter. Brockton now in a one and one bonus situation. Here's Hollerin. And she loses the ball. Another loose ball created by the boxers and an arm bar is gonna be called here on Annalie Lorenzo. Worst rule in high school basketball is the arm bar rule. You can't stick your forearm out to guard a player, even if they're right on top of you. That's an arm bar, even though there's a three for Olive Rams hitting that was Caroline Pepper. You associate the word arm bar with Ronda Rousey. You think you get a flare on the floor with the almost broken arm. Here's Tannis with 22 seconds to go. Canary King off of the OA tip. Now 18 seconds to go, 13 on the shot clock for Brockton. King to Montero. Montero to Wint. Seven on the shot clock, 10 on the game clock. Montero on the other side, in for a Wint. One second on the shot clock, off the rim, no good. Offensive board, Canary King short. Jumper off the glass and in. And the buzzer sounds to end the first half. It is 26 to 16, Brockton up by 10. Excellent effort creating turnovers for the boxers. Defense rebounds all over the floor. MVP for the boxers for the first half has got to be Alexander Williams, a close second, Jade Wint. It's 26-16, 10 point edge for the boxers at halftime. We're gonna step aside, take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Good. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Oh boy. We just found it. Oh. Our back and forth. Victory. Fumble. Repeat. It always came back. <laughs> Dad! Whoa! You made time. That was perfect. Okay, here we go, throw it! <laughs> yeah! You probably don't remember what you told me.
Nice. But I heard every word. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt, blue shirt, <laughs> yellow shirt, oops. <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, green pants, <gasps> oops. <laughs> I see you mobbing over her. Let's go. Let's mob. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Mm -hmm. Let's crawl. Awkward. Do I look familiar? I should. You might remember me from here. Here. We we remember. Or maybe even here. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. It can actually be a perfect moment to reach out to a friend and ask if they're okay if they seem down. It doesn't matter how you say it. You all right? Everything's okay? Oh, gee. You all right, girl? Oh, you cool? You bug and dog. Just show you're there for them. Go on, Kelly. It's easy, awkward. Hey, um, you haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Oliver Ames High School for second half action between the visiting Brockton Boxers and the Oliver Ames Tigers in the consolation game of the 2018 Holiday Tournament. It's Brockton up by 10, 26-16 over the Tigers. As I say that, number 12, Taddy Pages hit a layup, so 26-18. Alex Williams for the Boxers, giving off to her sister Elizabeth. Story of the first half, turnovers created by the Boxers and rebounds grabbed by the Boxers. Canary King with it now. Bad angle layup, no good. The board to Megan Holleran. Now it's Pepper. Down low is good for Hadges. Four quick points for the Tigers. Oh, Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action courtside here. Canary King, three, no good. Offensive board for Jayla Smith. Now Alex Williams slowing things up, trying to set up the boxers offense. The freshman surrounded by Tigers, gives off to Elizabeth. Her three is off the front of the rim, no good. Offensive board, Jade Went. her lamp is good. Oliver Ames in that second quarter, not scoring for the first six and a half minutes. Now it's Hedges down low, no good. Out of play off of Kenari King. Oliver Ames wearing their home whites, black trim around the orange numbers, brought it in their visiting black jerseys. Red trim around the white numbers, Hedges quick layup, no good. Out of play off of Oliver Ames. Williams now, buck and a half into this third quarter. Williams to Jade Went, long two, no good. Pepper with the rebound. The pass is intercepted by Elizabeth Williams. And it will be a Tiger basketball. Sadie Homer seems to be working a cramp in one of her quads on the Tiger sideline. Came out of the game injured in the second quarter and is 
still working on it. Kickball against Brockton, Oliver Ames ball, and Elizabeth Williams trying to plead her case, and she's not going to win. 5.49 to go in the third quarter. Brockton by 8, 28 to 20 the score. Now a block from behind by Alex Williams. Boy will retain possession, but a loud block by the freshman. Now it's Flynn down low, her shot no good, blocked by the boxers, and now another attempt, lays it off the glass and in. King with it for the boxers. Oliver Ames fan base calling for a travel. Jayla Smith, terrible angle shot, no good. OA comes down with the rebound, Jayla Smith steals it back. Now King for three, no good. And Hadges coming away with the rebound. Gets it off to Pepper. Pepper for three is good. It's back to a one possession ball game, 28 to 25. The Tigers charging here early in the third quarter and Brockton is forced to call their first timeout of this affair with 4.55 to go in the third quarter. Here's a look at the latest points by the Oliver Rams Tigers. Uh, Long three-pointer by Caroline Pepper to bring us back to a one-possession game, the closest that it's been since early on in the first quarter. This game for third place in this holiday tournament. Of course the Needham Rockets, the champions of last year's tournament playing in the title game again tonight. Elizabeth Williams inbounding to Alex. Alex Williams. A lot of room to work with. One-handed pass in for Jade Went. Went spinning with it. Her shot blocked, but Jade, uh, Jayla Smith coming down with the loose ball. Now Elizabeth Williams. Ten on the shot clock for Brockton. Williams spinning with it. Her floater is good. Brockton back up by five. And it's going to be Loud foul on that. Here's a look at the floater by Elizabeth Williams. And that's what the Williams sisters really excel at, creating space and able to get loose balls. And here's Kanari King off a steal to Alex Williams. Over to Elizabeth. Forcing it in for Jade Wint, spinning with it. She's blocked, but a foul called. to be a lower back ailment for Sadie Homer. She's got the equivalent of a lumbar support pad. She went two or two at the line. Bring her average close to 50% for the night. Here's Bailey who followed in Lorenzo offensively, not called. Now Elizabeth Williams. 
Williams fouled. And she'll be at the line for a couple of shots. It's gonna go against Caroline Pepper. Pepper, one of three freshmen on the team, all of whom have seen minutes tonight. Anna Murphy, Haley Bourne, the other two. Williams no good on her first attempt. One or two at the line is Elizabeth Williams, the elder statesman of the boxers starting lineup. 33 to 25 the score, broken up by eight. A three pointer is good for Caroline Pepper. Bring it back within five points. Alex Williams one handing it to Jade Went, and now Nelani Montero for three is good. 3.15 to go here in the third quarter. Brockton comes up with another turnover. Elizabeth Williams to Alex, one handing it over to Jade Wint. Lorenzo wide open, but Jade Wint lays it up and in. Now it's Haley Bourne. Three minutes to go, Bourne over to Pepper. Pepper for three, no good, short. Gets her own rebound, follows her shot, her Attempt is no good. Elizabeth Williams, the rebound for the boxers. Montero can't corral the pass. That was a couple of feet behind her. Here's a look at the Caroline Pepper three. Megan Holleran coming out of the game for the Tigers. Down low, that's an up and down, not called. The rebound for Elizabeth Williams. She's run into by Caroline Flynn. Williams coast to coast is no good. And it will be a Tiger basketball. Alex Sheldon, the senior co-captain, Coming in, she replaces Teddy Hadges. Counted in one for Sheldon, fresh into the game. A hit is the call and Angelina Fernandez comes in to replace Lorenzo. The foul was called on Nelani Montero. Sheldon's good at the line. Alex Williams almost traveling with it, got herself mid-second step. Over to Elizabeth, two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Seven point ball game, Brockton up 38-31. Elizabeth Williams looking to add to that lead. Five seconds on the shot clock, now three. And a hold is going to be called. On Caroline Pepper. Now there's Skolnick comes into the game replacing Pepper. Brockton with a fresh 32nd. Now it's Elizabeth Williams over to Jade Went to the corner for Montero. Long two, no good. The rebound to Haley Bourne. Williams with a buck 30 to go here in the third quarter. Liz for three, no good. Jump ball called. It will remain a Brockton basketball.
Fernandez across to Kanari King. Her three, no good off the front of the rim. And now it's a two on one up court for the Tigers. Sheldon off the glass, no good. King elbowed midair, no call. And out of play off of number 10 of the boxers, Layla Depina. Sheldon down low, counted in one for Alex Sheldon. The push called on Depina and she's good. Second consecutive trip to the free throw line for Alex Sheldon and it's a four point ball game. Elizabeth, uh, Alex Williams, excuse me, looking to add to the lead for Brockton, spinning with it and she's called for the double dribble. 46.3 to go in the third quarter and it's 38-34, the Tigers charging. Flynn as the shots waved off. A foul going against Nailani Montero. That's a travel not called. Sheldon good for two. It's back to a one possession game, 33 seconds to go, 38 to 36. Alex Williams, bad angle shot, no good. A rebound to the Tigers, looking to tie or even take the lead going into the third break. And a jump ball called, it will remain a Tiger basketball. Rebecca Tennis coming in. She will replace Depina. <laughs> We're gonna have an over the back called on Jade Wint. These refs have gotten kind of whistle happy here in the third quarter. Seven total fouls called, 15 seconds to go, shot clock off, full court press for the boxers. As Alex Williams coming over to say hello to the commentary equipment here at courtside. Thought I was safe in the corner, apparently not so. Seven seconds on the clock, now five or three blocked. Alex Williams coming down with the rebound. Williams throws up a shot off the glass, no good. The boxers keep the lead, but by the skin of their teeth, 38 to 36. It's a two point ball game at the end of the third quarter. That's second, so start of the second half. All Oliver Ames, Brockton scoring 12 points. The Tigers pouring in 20. If you're the Tigers, the message is keep it up. If you're the boxers, you gotta figure out what happened at halftime that the defense and the rebounding relented to the extent that it did. So eight minutes on the clock to determine third place in this 2018 Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. A slower moving third quarter than the first half moved. Someone on our crew mentioned the speed of the first half and how quick it went by, thus jinxing the second half, not mentioning any names. Our lone cameraman for tonight, Jade Wint, three, good! 
And the box is back up by two possessions, 41 to 36. Now it's Sheldon traveling with it, not called. A long two for number 14 is no good. That's Jessica Ehrlich. There's Williams coming away with it. Williams in for Jade Went Went over to Tannis. Her layup, no good. Two boxers fighting over it. Tannis grabs her own rebound. Fouled on her way back up. And she'll be at the line for two. Tennis, one of two from the line, 42-36. A six point ball game in favor of the boxers. Here is Alex Sheldon, the senior co-captain. She's bumped into by King. Now inside for Caroline Flynn, over to Bourne, who got it to Sheldon, laid it up and in. And Sheldon, scrappy in the paint, will attempt her third three point foul shot of the evening. Good on her first two attempts. And she's perfect at the charity strike. Elizabeth Williams, 18 on the shot clock to Tannis at the top of the key. Back to Elizabeth. Liz working her way in, bad angle, shot off the glass and in. 44-39, a five-point edge for the Boxers. Now Sheldon, that's an up and down, not called on Haley Bourne. Now Canary King off of the Hail Mary pass. Thought about the three, instead her pass for Jade went intercepted, but broken up, a jump ball, and Olive Rams takes over. Is born fouled by, I believe that one's gonna go against Jade Wintz. <laughs> Megan Holleran comes in, she replaces Jessica Ehrlich. Over to Pepper, broken up. I'm in the danger zone in this corner. Our poor distribution amp so far has been clipped by Alex Williams and now a basketball. Six eleven to go in the fourth quarter, 44-39, five point edge for the boxers. Here's Flynn into double coverage for Sheldon. Off the glass and in for Alex Sheldon. Now Elizabeth Williams. I think Oliver Ames' coach is lobbying for a carry call on Elizabeth Williams and a travel call on Kanari King. One possession game, 44 to 41, Brockton up. Trying to hang on here for third place in the 2018 Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament against the hosts of this tournament. Alex Sheldon now over to Caroline Flynn. Flynn the sophomore, working back top of the key, working against the freshman, Alex Williams, who's called for a block, and she wants to know what she did because there was absolutely no contact there. And she's trying to lobby for an armbar called offensively against Flynn. Trying to explain to the ref what she did. Now the ref's explaining to 
Williams exactly what they saw to draw that call, and it wasn't much. Flynn at the line for two shots. Good on her first attempt for off the one and one scenario. A two point ball game, 5.38 to go. And perfect at the line is Caroline Flynn, making it just a one point ball game, but Brockton with the ball, Alex Williams, stutter stepping. Hard in for Jade Went and a turnover for the boxers. Lorenzo comes in, Kenari King will come out for the boxers. And coach Chris Connolly is not too happy with what he sees from his boxers right now. Sheldon for the lead, no good. Offensive board to Bourne. A couple of offensive boards for Caroline Flynn. Now Elizabeth Williams grabbing it. Now slowing things up. Over to Alex. She takes a long three off the front of the rim. No good. Jayla Smith offensive board. Over to Annalie Lorenzo. Lorenzo called for the travel. And the Tigers will have possession and a chance to take the lead with five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Flynn to Megan Holleran. Holleran, the junior co-captain, off the glass. No good as she was losing her footing. Now Alex Williams on the other side. Williams driving, reverse layup, no good. Offensive board for Jayla Smith. Out of play off of the Tigers as the OA bench is lobbying for the ball. They're not going to get it. 22 seconds for the boxers to shoot it. Jade went with it, thought about the three. Instead gives it to Elizabeth in the corner. Jade went down low, loses it, and OA takes possession. Nelani Montero comes in for Jayla Smith. Here's Sheldon who has nine points here in the second half. And a foul on Annalie Lorenzo, and Oliver Ames has just taken the lead. It was the captain, Megan Holleran, laying it up and in. 4.26 to go, and OA has their first lead since the first points of this game were scored. It's a 45-44 to 44 lead. And Holleran at the line for one shot and it is now a two point ball game in favor of the Tigers. And a turnover for Alex Williams, the pass out of reach of Rebecca Tannis. King comes in. And there's too many boxers on the floor. It's gonna be Alex Williams coming out. Caroline Flynn over to Holler into the corner for Bourne. Tigers get the ball movement going. Here's Pepper for three, no good. And knocked out of play by Haley Bourne. Brockton takes over with 3.58 to go in the fourth quarter, down by two. Elizabeth Williams over to Jade Went her three. Rainbow shot, no good, gets her own rebound. Fouled, and a jump ball is gonna be called as Jade Went had clear possession as she went up to the basket for a shot, and the ref saying that the Tigers got all ball. Tannis to the corner, went three, no good. Caroline Flynn with the rebound for the Tigers. In for Pepper, her shot off the glass and in. All Rams extends their lead to four points with three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Elizabeth Williams is good off the rim 
Took a funny spin. And it's back to a one possession game. Caroline Pepper. Collarin, no good for three. Elizabeth Williams with the rebound. Alex Williams getting ready to come back into the game for some much needed boxer offense. Tannis grabs the offensive board, spinning with it. Oliver Ames yelling for a travel. Montero's three, no good. Ripped down by is that Flynn. And now it's Sheldon in alone. And Elizabeth Williams gonna be called for the block. Her feet were in fact moving. Elizabeth Williams limping a little bit, favoring her left leg. She makes her way over to the boxer's bench. Alex comes in, Tannis will come out. 2.52 to go, it's a two point ball game, 48 to 46. All of Rams on top in what has become a back and forth affair. 0 for two at the line was Pepper. Now Alex Williams has it. Jade went with it. She takes a three from the top of the key. Might have been tipped. It goes just a little bit outside. No good. All of Rams with the rebound. Brockton might have run out of gas in the tank. Somewhere around halftime because the first half was all defense, all turnovers, all rebounds. We're going the boxer's way and the second half has been the exact opposite. Haley Bourne good on her first attempt, a three-point ball game. Now trying to make it two possessions. Does just that. And a timeout called by Oliver Ames. Two and a half minutes to go, 50 to 46. What a turn of events here for the Brockton Boxers, who at one point led by 13 points. And now the Tigers are up 50 to 46 with two and a half minutes to go. With this break in the action, we want to thank the cast and crew for bringing you the sights and sounds of all the 2018 Holiday tournament festivities from Oliver Ames High School here in Northeastern Massachusetts. At the helm tonight, Mike the Postman Simmons. Yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. On camera, Phil Philippides. The Greek freak, Phil Philippides. And I, of course, am the mad dog himself, Matt Nelson. Bring you all the action courtside here. In a gym that has gotten significantly more packed as the time has gone on. Sadie Homer, one of the Oliver Ames starters, has not returned to the game in the second half. Still with that lumbar support on the Oliver Ames bench. Now it's Williams with it. Williams over to Elizabeth. Now Liz Williams working her way in, spinning, shooting, no good. Offensive board puts up her own rebound and it's good for Liz Williams. Good ball movement for the Tigers. They've got a two on one. Liz Williams coming up with the block and now Jade went from behind blocking the shot and a jump ball called. It'll be Brock in basketball with a chance to tie or take the lead. There's a replay of the defensive stand for the Brockton Boxers with time winding down here in the fourth quarter. Here's Alex Williams. Over to Liz. Liz to the corner, Jayla Smith, wide open three is too much. And a jump ball called, OA will take this one. It was Jade Wentz scrapping with Caroline Flynn. Now 
Here's Caroline Pepper, buck and a half to go. Sheldon blocked by Alex Williams, and uh, Elizabeth Williams, who's gonna be called for the foul. It was Haley Bourne, the freshman, trying to put up the shot, and here's a look at that quote unquote foul, and everybody around the gym is screaming, all ball. It resembles that scene in Finding Nemo with the seagulls. We're yelling mine, if you can picture that scene. Everybody's yelling all ball, all ball, all ball. It is a four point ball game with a buck 20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Alex Williams with it for the boxers. Her layup, no good, a rebound for the Tigers who now are playing the clock game. Slow it up, take as much time off the clock as you can. Holleran throws it out of bounds. Good stop by the athletic trainer here at Oliver Ames, who grabbed that ball one-handed. Elizabeth Williams over to <laughs> Alex, who's like, why are you throwing it so far ahead of me? Now Alex Williams trying to go coast to coast. Her layup around the world and out. Oliver Ames with another rebound. This one over to Caroline Pepper, and now Brockton's gonna start fouling. They don't have any fouls to give, but just to stop the clock. And a travel is going to be called on number 23, Alex Sheldon. And Lonnie Montero comes in, Jayla Smith comes out. Alex Williams getting around Caroline Flynn. Now it's Williams over to Elizabeth who thought momentarily about the three, kicks it out to Kanari King. She takes a three, too much mustard on it. And a, a rebound for the Tigers and now a double team. And that's exactly the kind of rebounding pressure that Brockton had in the first half that led to them going up by so much, but a foul was called on Nailani Montero. And a double bonus situation now for the Olive Rams Tigers with 32.6 to go. This game slowly slipping out of reach for the Brockton Boxers. No good on her first attempt. And 0 for 2 at the line, rebound to Alex Williams. 30 seconds to go, 27 on the shot clock. Williams down low for Canary King, her two is good. And an immediate timeout by Chris Connolly. It is a two point ball game with 24.7 seconds to go. Brockton is going to drop a play that involves them stealing the inbound pass and working a full court press to try to create a turnover, much like they did the entire first half of this game. And here's a look at the last play, the Canary King layup. 52 to 50 is the score, Oliver Rams on top. Brockton trying to find their way back to the point that they were at one point, 13 points up over the Tigers who have come storming back after halftime to lead by as many as five. Twenty-four point seven seconds to go. The shot clock is off. Brockton going with their defense. Alex and Elizabeth Williams, Jayla Smith, Kenari King, and Jade Wint. On the other side, it's Haley Bourne, Caroline Flynn, and Pepper, Alex Sheldon, and Megan Holleran. First time the two co-captains have been on the floor tonight, and an immediate foul by Elizabeth Williams, who again thought she did not initiate any contact. Annalie Lorenzo will come into the game 
presumably for Jayla Smith. And scratch that, Lorenzo takes a seat back on the boxer bench. They're gonna say that that shot does not count because it hit the top of the backboard. Oh, the ref's gonna say that that's good. That is a terrible call by the official. They're gonna say that that's a good foul throw and that is absolutely terrible by the official. That hit the top of the backboard and spun back down and that should not count. That should be out of play, no good. It's a three point ball game. Brockton now has to hawk up a three. Alex Williams with it, 20 seconds to go. Brockton's gonna hang on and try to force a tie game here. Alex Williams spinning with it, eight seconds to go. Uh, Williams shot and she's called for the travel. 6.5 seconds to go and the ref has made two consecutive terrible calls. Timeout called. I'd like to go back to that foul throw that hit the top of the backboard. Very clearly hit the top of the backboard. Should have been ruled out of play and no good. That could be the difference in this game as Brockton would have thrown up a two and here's a look at that free throw. You can very, very clearly see it hit the top of the backboard and see it have some backspin on it to force it back in front of the net. That should be by rule out of bounds. Very clearly it hit the support rope and the top of the board. And that forced Brockton on the other side to throw up a quick three which was no good but it didn't matter because Williams was called for a travel now the 6.5 seconds to go and Oliver Ames will have the inbound ball it's an awful shame to see the refs have a be a factor in the outcome of a basketball game especially when it could be such a minuscule thing If Brockton had only to throw up a two, and a timeout called by Coach Chris Connolly. If Brockton's gonna set up a two-pointer instead of a three-pointer, they've got another five seconds to work with. You cannot call a timeout off of your own timeout, but all of Rams called the first timeout. Otherwise, it would have been a technical foul on Coach Chris Connolly. Fifty-three to fifty. What a turn of events here at Oliver Ames High School. OA leading this one by three. Brockton led by as much as thirteen at one point in the second quarter. They were up twenty-six to sixteen at the half. turned into a very competitive affair. It has been led by Alex Sheldon who has accounted for 11 points for the Tigers. 6.5 seconds to go, Brockton's gonna foul immediately. They do not, Oliver Ames has it and they will attempt to waste out the clock but Jade Wint committing a loud foul on Haley Bourne and the double bonus situation. Bourne will be at the line for two shots, 2.4 seconds to go. If Bourne goes 0 for two here, Brockton could theoretically still throw up a very long three. And there's a chance. And a timeout called by Brockton. 2.4 seconds to go, buckle up if Brockton well, the first thing that needs to happen is Bourne has to miss the free throw attempt. If that happens, buckle up. Rockton's gonna scrap for the rebound. There's not too much time. There's 2.4 seconds. That's enough for a long outlet pass to about mid-court. And then it will be a prayer. If I'm Brockton, I'm going with the Williamses. 
Uh, go with Jade Wint, who's got a lot of range, and Annalie Lorenzo. Williams is, is the plural of Williams, meaning both sisters, both Elizabeth and Alexandra. 2.4 seconds, regardless of if any miracle shot should be made. I mean, players that came, Alex Sheldon for the Oliver Rams Tigers, 11 points so far, three consecutive old-fashioned three-point plays for the boxers. It's got to be Alex Williams. It's Lorenzo Williams, Williams, Canary King, and Wint on the floor. Haley Bourne with the dagger. That's a four-point ball game. Williams picks it up with no time remaining. Her long three, no good, and this one has come to an end. Oliver Ames storming back in the second half, down by 10 at the break. It was 26 to 16, coming back for 48 points. My math is off. 38 points in the second half for the Oliver Ames Tigers to win this one by a final score of 54 to 50 to claim third place in the Oliver Ames Holiday Tournament. Brockton suffers a heartbreaking defeat. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our director, Mike the Postman Simmons, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton, our cameraman, the Greek freak, Phil Philippides. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.